Hello friends, today I will talk about uh, something which has been in the news recently that is petticoat cancer, sari cancer or dhoti cancer. Now even though it has been in the news recently, it is not something new and also for your relief it is not something common. It's a very very rare condition but what is what happens in this condition? So basically if you look at uh, these dresses that is sari, petticoat or dhoti, it is something that is tied around the waist. So petticoat is something like an underskirt where a, with a cord it is tightly tied around the waist so that the sari can hold and uh, similarly in men uh, there is dhoti which again they tie around the waist. Now if a person wears these tight uh, dresses over a period of time that is several decades then what can happen is there can be little friction or small minor injury to the skin and uh, also there is a lot of sweating perspiration in some uh, you know parts of our country because of the summer heat. And after a number of years, many changes at the skin can happen. That is depigmentation, where the skin can become lighter. Sometimes uh, ulceration, small ulceration where skin can break. And so these things are more common. And only in some very, very rare conditions, these ulcerations can transform into a type of cancer. What was first described as Majorin ulcer, which is nothing but it's a type of cancer called as squamous cell carcinoma. Now, you know, so just to summarize, it is uh, due to you know constant friction, perspiration and excoriation of the affected area and in only after a certain you know number of years, several years, uh, these changes happen and in a very very small proportion this can transform into a cancer. Now this is not something new because uh, dhoti cancer has been described in it from India in 1945. So you can imagine it's like almost 75 years back and uh, and these are all isolated case reports. So if you look at the number of people in India who wear these dresses, because they are all traditional dresses and very, very small number of cases that have been reported. So it's extremely rare condition and there is no need to panic. But just a word of caution, if, if you notice any of those skin changes where there is small ulceration or some wound which is not healing or just even, you know, itching, any, any of those changes, consult a doctor and get it checked. And uh, you know it can be easily treated if it is a pigmentation or ulceration, and uh, and you need to be under regular follow up by the doctor. And uh, and just to summarize, it is not something to panic, but uh, you should be aware that yes, these are rare things that can happen in isolated cases.